and welcome to Marriott MBA Today. My name is Melanie Lopez, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the highlights from the Consumer Electronics Show that a group of MBA students went to last week. And with me today, I have Derek Pando. Thanks for being on the show. Happy to be here. And he is a first year, and he's going to share some of his insights that he got from CS, as well as his unique experience with recruiting there. Yes. So first, let's talk about um, going to CES for the first time. So what was it like? What was the experience? What did you think of it? Well, everyone always says it's a huge show, but it's really difficult to understand until you walk into the Las Vegas Convention Center and you see hundreds of thousands of people. Oftentimes, it's difficult to find uh, the booths that you were looking for because there were just so many levels and buildings and even expanded outside the convention center all the way to the Venetian. So you could just feel the energy, the excitement. Everywhere you turn, there's new product and technology. It was, it was amazing. Awesome. Tell me, um, what were some of the tech trends that you saw while you were there? You know, I saw a lot of cameras. Um, GoPro, which you know, focuses on more action cameras, but also saw some of the uh, other players like Canon and Nikon mm -hmm. having cameras that are easier to use. Uh, cameras that uh, people with little professional experience or background can take really high quality uh, pictures to share with their family and friends. Were they even doing some trainings and things like that there? Yeah, it was very hands-on. You could get your hands on a camera. They had, uh, there was a training where someone, they actually had live models that they were taking pictures of and kind of talking through the process of how you would position them and how you would adjust the camera based off of the different poses that oh, you're trying to get. Really hands-on with these new products. Yeah, it was great. That's awesome. Um, now, I know at CES, there's a lot of press that goes on, a lot of interviews uh, during CES. Did you see any of those happening? I did. Uh, there were several uh, companies like Engadget that actually had booths where they were constantly doing interviews and bringing people in. But then in this day and age, everyone's sort of a reporter. So uh, people walking around with cameras, uh, you know, tweeting and putting on Instagram and posting videos to YouTube uh, just as soon as the action was happening. That's got to be fun to be a part of that, what everyone's tweeting about and, and hearing about all the latest technology. Yeah, yeah, you really feel part of the show, mm -hmm. especially when you connect into a lot of the social media channels. You can see what's happening and then run over to that booth and, and participate in whatever they're doing. And mm -hmm. uh, it really is a big community. What was your favorite technology that you saw? You know, uh, it was a technology that at first I was skeptical when I saw it. It looked like a, it was a company called Beam in Palo Alto. It was a mix between, uh, to me, a Roomba and Skype. Basically what it is, it's, it's a robot that has uh, a camera and a screen on it so that you can actually uh, be like Skype with somebody, but you, you actually have control and movement. So the use case they gave oh. was, say you're headquartered in Palo Alto, but you have a factory in China. You put this uh, machine or robot in China and you can actually walk around your floor, interact oh, with employees, wow. check on how things are going, and give a much more personal touch and interaction to this digital communication. Wow, that's really exciting. Um, it would be amazing to see what our workplaces look like in 10 years from now. And, and this was a preview of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's really neat. Um, you know, so I actually kind of tagged along with the CES show this year um, for my first time. And one of the things that I really liked was this uh, 3D printer. So it will actually print objects. Did you see this? I, I did not, but that looks awesome. So this was over the in the Venetian, and so you could put an image of, you know, perhaps a toy, like an action figure or a crown or something, and it would actually print it out into an, a 3D plastic object for you. So pretty neat way to kind of prototype something, or, or I've heard um, even Jay Leno using something <laughs> like that to create engine parts that no longer exist. So oh, wow. pretty neat. That's awesome. Um, now. One unique thing experience that you had with CES was that you actually took advantage of it um, for your recruiting efforts. So tell me a little bit about that. What were you doing? Yeah, so I had two separate experiences. One, uh, I actually had a phone interview with a company uh, in Manhattan while I was at the show. And while that sounded kind of risky, you know, with like the, the noise and everything, it actually ended up being a fantastic icebreaker. When uh, he called, he asked if it was still a good time to chat, and I said, hey, listen, uh, it's a great time to chat. I'm at CES in the quietest corner of CES, and it's not that quiet. And he had a good laugh, and instantly we just started talking about technology. And of course, I'm interested in technology, and this company is a technology firm. So I felt an instant kind of bond and connection being able to share that experience with him. Uh, the second experience I had was with uh, a company, uh, GoPro. Really admire them. Uh, they're growing really fast, but I've been having trouble. They don't really have a formal MBA program. 
I've been having trouble getting a hold of people within GoPro. So I went to the booth, uh, talked with one of their salespeople, kind of tried to listen to what their needs were, found out that they're having huge expansion in Latin America. And uh, I speak Spanish and Portuguese, and so I told them that. And uh, a few minutes later, I was able to get some business cards, and I have a call with them tomorrow. So it was really a chance to meet in person, find out what these companies' needs are, and see how that fits your background. Wow, congratulations on your interviews and way to be proactive about it and use this as an opportunity to get an internship for the summer. So I think that's great. And you know, this is, this is a great opportunity for students not to just see the latest technology, but to do stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, would you recommend going next year? Definitely. Definitely. It was, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, I definitely would go again. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on our show. No problem. Thank you for watching us um, and have a great evening. Thank you.